anosognosia. It's a mental illness, and it means a person is unaware of their own mental health condition. Either Memphians are suffering from anosognosia or we're drowning in its first cousin, denial. We had a shooting inside FedEx Forum at a concert Friday night that left one man hospitalized, and as of this taping, the shooter had not been apprehended. I don't know that the shooter and victim are black, but I bet they are. And the trigger may have been pulled at the same time two black girls were filmed punching each other in the head in the arena's concourse. Those are just two instances of DA Steve Mulroy's public pronouncement that Memphis is in a crime crisis. When are we going to act like it? I can answer that. We'll act like it at the same time we acknowledge the fact that what got us here has nothing to do with who the mayor is or whether or not the police are doing their job. What got us here is the tone deafness of a majority black school board that voted over a decade ago to outlaw an effective tool for disciplining black students, thereby producing in perpetuity unruly black girls like the ones I mentioned earlier. What got us here is the tone deafness that led to a majority black electorate surrendering a majority black school system with an operating budget of over a billion dollars and media outlets that to this day misreport the surrender as a merger. What got us here is the refusal of black Memphians to accept responsibility and accountability for the condition of our city not to mention the white power brokers and political elite who continue the boss Crump, Willie Lynch manipulation of weak-minded black so-called leaders who would sell their souls and their people for a bowl of porridge. The only way a person with anosognosia will get treatment is if someone lets them know they're sick. Memphis, we're sick. This has been Keeping It Real with the Right Rev. Richard? And you did exactly that, Rev. <laughs> you <laughs> I did. Have to say, either of you want to weigh in before we end the segment here? I thought he handled it very well. Um, of course, we, in, in our distant past, we, we disagreed about the corporal punishment thing. Uh, but I think you were right on the money with everything else that you said. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to talk about uh, another race that isn't until next year, but it's already starting to heat up a little bit. That's the U.S. Senate race for Tennessee in just a moment.